I'm uh, Michael Nash. I'm with Bold Radius Solutions. I'm their um, VP of Capability. So, I want to talk to you this evening about uh, easy scalability with ACA. ACA is really an implementation of the actor model, which existed before ACA, for the JVM. In, a, in one sentence, it's a share nothing, distributed, message driven compute model. When we scale the traditional model, we throw multiple servers at it, right? We say, okay, we're going to distribute this across three, four, five, ten, a thousand servers. So there's one, more than one copy of each domain instance. Again, I'll talk about some detail of that. Each copy must read state every time in order to be consistent. It has to be a shared resource somewhere. Each must write fully to the same shared instance of a data store. And scalability is therefore limited. I want to thank uh, Dave and Katrin, they're at the back of the room. They wrote most of this code, so if there's anything wrong with it, their fault. <laughs> so, what we did was we said, okay, let's put it on the same deploy structure. Let's put it on, in this case, on some AWS instances, and let's make the two different versions on, literally run on the same machines. Not even similar machines, but identical machines. One run, run one right after the other. And what do we get? If we did one, the traditional CRUD model that I showed you at the beginning, in place updates, even using ACA, using Spray, using all of the you know, high performance database and so on, and the other one using distributed domain driven design and CQRS. So we wrote the CRUD version, it uses ACA, receives a request, writes to the data store, writes to the database, it's a cluster of three different uh, Cassandra nodes, writes to the database in the traditional fashion, very straightforward, right? Nothing fancy about it. So we're talking about ACA with the Scala API in this particular case. No reason in the world you couldn't do this with the Java API. Um, we're using the clustering, ACA clustering, and the ACA persistence modules, which are two optional modules. We're using Cassandra, a very modern uh, database, and the data stacks driver. There is a So what does all that boil down to? What does it really mean if we compare these two systems? The easiest way I find to look at it is how many actual request response cycles did we handle in those two minutes, in those two identical scenarios. For the CRUD app, it was just shy of 76,000. For the CQRS app, it was just shy of 200,000. So that little bit of change of code made a fair bit of difference. And I would contend, and I'm pretty sure we did achieve this, that the two are equally consistent, e.g. you won't ever get the wrong answer out of either of them. Because it's an auction-based system, right? You can't afford to have the wrong answer, much like a banking system. If you need us to come and help your team learn how to do all this magic, you know where to find us. <laughs>